So an engineering apprentice takes over the uh, electrical and mechanical roles in the factory um, and provides support to the operators for the machines. That involves going on different college blocks um, and doing a lot of on-site work, so getting out in all the different departments. The new standard of the apprenticeship as well means that we'd still get the opportunity to go have a bit of a student lifestyle and then come back to work and put our skills into play. When I finish my apprenticeship I'll be a qualified electrician, I'll be uh, a mechanical engineer as well, so I'll be dual skilled so I'll be able to do both. Uh, disciplines. I think getting an apprenticeship you'll get all the qualifications you want but you'll get the experience and you'll have a job to go to and you'll be paid to do it. When I was applying for it I wouldn't say that I knew exactly what supply chain was, it was kind of I knew it was the gist of making a product, getting it to the end customer, but the diversity of roles that you actually are in supply chain are under that bracket, there are so many that you can do and it's kind you're not narrowly like in supply chain like that is 100 percent it. So my first role was packaging related, so working with marketing. My second role has been in a factory, a factory environment which helps me become more resilient to everything. Um, bringing in loads of different products, working in a different um, area. So it was in beverage which was fantastic. And then coming back to confectionery and working again with um, stakeholders that are abroad which has just been fantastic so I would definitely get someone else to apply for an apprenticeship for sure.